Man, it looks great. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. See that? That's exactly what I wanted. So on a side note, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I want these lights to sit. I don't know if I like it like that or if I want it up underneath the frame. I don't know. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, how about some LED lights, right? Everybody likes LED lights and I was thinking you know how on a formula car they have like that little red light on the back? Yeah, just like that. I want to do that for my truck. So I kind of came up with this ordeal yo here. So what I did. I bought these. These are LED lights. Now the cool thing about these LED lights is well especially this pack is that they're already pre-soldered they already got the little capacitor on them and these come with uh some mounting hardware too and there's two for a set and i paid like four bucks for it so what i did is i took two reds and a blue put them together ran the wire up through the frame here i need to figure out how i'm going to wire it up yeah i haven't got that far yet so what I did is I took a little bit of shrink wrap, shrink wrapped them, put a little electric tape on them, and then on the back side of your crate, and there's a little hole that's on top of your crankcase, on top of like this diff case right here. I just ran a bolt or a screw, a nut, a bolt, nut, screw. I ran a bolt through it and put it down. My only problem was is that it's going to start to droop. So what I did is I took the cap off of a super glue, cut it, spray painted it black, and then I glued it in there, top to bottom, right? And hopefully that looks good. Not sure, I'm still trying to get the tweaks out of it. I need to glue it. I want it to be straight, but it doesn't want to sit 100% straight on me. Let's plug it up real quick, because I was kind of rough on them. You know, and I, uh, <laughs> a little bit rough on them. See, does it work? Oh, yeah, it does work. Yeah, brah, that looks cool. You guys like that? I like it, too. I think that looks pretty cool. So that way at night, you see that red and blue glow coming. Yeah, I'm all for that. I just got to figure out how to wire it, though, you know? With the body, though, like the body, that's the clue. Let's see here. See here, here are our RC bodies. Um, you guys remember these, right? All of them. I made videos on doing these. I know you guys seen them. But this is the main body that I use. This is the stock body. The reason why I use the stock body is because it's the most protected body that I own. Just do a roll cage video where I was attempting to get this roll cage to fit on this truck. Um, I think a bumper is what slowed us down. I don't have the right front bumper that it was calling for. So we're going to order the front bumper, get that put in, and then we're going to try again and see if we can get that roll cage to get put into place. So back to what I was saying what I did is I installed a battery pack in the back of the truck and I wired the headlights and the underbody lights all together so that way I don't have to disconnect the wire from the truck and able to pull the body off all I got to do is pull the body off and then I can disconnect the wiring 
and turn the lights off makes life way easier but I need to figure out how to splice these two things in see if I touch them see they come on yeah and then if I touch it off it's no more so we got to figure out how to wire this into this I actually think it's going to be easier guys if we just <clears throat> wire this into the truck instead of trying to wire it into the body because then I would have to worry about disconnecting something on and off and I don't want to do that so we already have the ESC that spare you know uh, plug that they got there for you to run your fan off of that's already been populated so I'm thinking about right I got one of these these receiver wires like an extension one I'm thinking about plugging that into the receiver running this down along the frame here and then nicking off this head and splicing the wires together and then that way every time you turn the truck on you'll turn the rear LED on that's what I'm thinking Use. like that cool and then I'm going to run it long ways. Alright, so it's like that now. See, that's what we got. And then I'm going to hit that with some heat and shrink wrap it. And we'll be good to go. I can't get this to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right there. So that way I only have the red and black left. All right, like that, looks good. Let's try that again. So everything is plugged in, it looks good. Got a light, light. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bro. Yeah, it's gonna look sweet. Here, this was just gonna be a quick little video. I just wanted to show you all that. Maybe you guys will wanna do the same. Um, I'm also, if we can get this chassis to work, I'm gonna add an LED light bar, tail lights, headlights, underground glows. I'm gonna do everything to this thing, but I'm not gonna invest the money or the time into it if I can't use the frame. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out some of our other videos. And as always, you guys be cool. And thank you for watching.